Luke's been with me. This will be going on his fourth year. He's been a part of uh, a two seed in the NCAA tournament, part of a one seed. Um, he's going to work primarily with our perimeter players. Uh, as I said in the uh, press release, uh, Luke is extremely detail-oriented in, in everything that he does, whether it's in the office, whether it's working with a player uh, on footwork, shooting technique, whether it's talking about an opponent through a scouting report. He's incredibly detailed, uh, extremely hardworking, very organized. Um, he has terrific uh, relationships with the players that we had at Xavier. As hard as it was for me to leave Xavier, it was equally as hard for Coach Murray because of the time he spent away from the court uh, with our players. And I, I quickly uh, have noticed that he's already beginning to build those relationships here with our guys. Mike, he played at the Matha High School for Mike Bray. I'm sorry, for Morgan Wooten. And um, Coach Wooten is, is the greatest high school basketball coach uh, to ever coach. He's the winningest coach of all time. He coached a, a million NBA players and college All-Americans. As I told Mike, he wasn't one of them, but he was still on the Matha's team. But he was schooled in fundamentals. He then went to Delaware and became their all-time leading scorer in school history. He played both the four and an undersized five. Mike has a gift. He has a gift for teaching the game of basketball, specifically to post players uh, and guys that do the, the majority of their work on the interior. Uh, he's going to be a godsend for, for guys like Malik Williams, uh, Stephen Enoch, uh, all of our, our bigger guys, even if they're not true back-to-the-basket players. Um, I'm really fortunate that, that Mike's been with me now. This will be his seventh year. Um, and the development that he's had, the, the players that he's had under his tutelage over the years, whether it's a James Farr from Xavier, who he played 70 minutes his entire freshman year, 70 minutes. His senior year, he was second in the, in the Big East in rebounding behind Angel Delgado. <laughs> Says a lot. Um, Matt Stainbrook, guy went from 300 pounds that was basically kicked off a team in the MAC conference at Western Michigan. Uh, Mike got him, with the help of our strength coach at the time, down to 250 pounds. And it was us or Wright State for Matt Stainbrook. And Matt became an all Big East caliber player uh, and one of the best post passers I've ever played or ever coached. So the, the development that our big guys are going to get is going to be through the roof. It's not surprising. Um, I, I was. I had very candid talks with Vince when I, when I decided to take the job. So I never was under the illusion that either one of them were going to be returning. Um, and, you know, I appreciate their contributions. Certainly they didn't play for me. I want them to know that they're always going to have a home uh, here in Louisville and they want to come in and play open gym with our guys or work out in the summer. Man, they're always welcome back. But I never thought that either one of them would be in a Louisville uniform next year. Sure. You know, most of it was text messaging. I think, you know, when uh, after we had the press conference uh, announcing uh, my hiring, I went to the Final Four to interview several candidates. And, you know, uh, Ray, when I got back on that Sunday, uh, was already uh, in Miami, um, you know, working out. And so I didn't necessarily have a face to face with him, but, you know, text message, talked to Coach Sabo, uh, talked to Ray, did the same thing with Dang. Um, people that are very important in his life and um, j just expressing um, my gratitude for how they handled it, uh, you know, being proactive in their communication and being ahead of, you know, uh, me not seeing it on Twitter for the very first time. They, they, didn't, they didn't owe me that. It shows the type of guys they are. And, again, um, I did have conversations before it was announced. Uh, as you look at our team, you say, well, Okay, Coach Patino had Anthony Simmons and Courtney Ramey um, coming to Louisville. Um, we're not recruiting those guys, so I can use their names. They were, they were, they were coming here, and um, they were going to help in the, in the perimeter, on the perimeter. So what an opportunity for a fifth-year transfer to come in and, and, and be able to play in the backcourt which is where they identified the help needed. Same thing in the 2019 class. 
but you know, we're, we're going to look for the best available players, but we certainly need some, some help uh, in the backcourt. Like with Chris Mack, I'm turning over my career and my family and putting it in Chris Mack's hands because I trust him, because I trust him. And, and I think that's big. So that, that was a big reason why. It had to be somebody I could trust with my career and with my family's future. And I've known him for 28 years. I coach Chris. So that, that was a big, that's a big thought for me in, in coming. And for me, like, I've coached in this league for nine years. You know, we went to two NCAA tournaments. I think, I think my first year we were 17 and 14, and then the next two years we were 44 and 18, 20 and 12 in the ACC, and went to back-to-back -to -back tournaments. So I know this league. I love this league. I think this is, without saying, and I've said it 8 million times on ESPN, I don't care what measuring stick you use. Historic, last five years, la it's the best conference in America. And that's where I wanted to be again. So that was the uh, impetus and drive of, of, of coming with, with Chris to Louisville. I believe in, in Coach Mack and Chris Mack and his methodology and how he goes about things and the energy that he brings every day. To see a guy at nearly 50, don't tell him I said that, have more energy than 18 and 19 year old kids on an everyday basis in everything that we do. It's phenomenal to watch. He's ever teaching. So even when he's beat red and he's intense and he's getting after guys, he's ever teaching, which is huge because I've been around some of the greatest teachers in this game and Morgan Wooten and Mike Bray. I believe in what he does and that's why I'm here. But I think just trying to, to be genuine and get a sense for who they are off the court. Um, we have kind of a, a somewhat of an understanding of who they are as players, just having watched them play in the summertime with their AAU teams or during the high school season and certainly, you know, on ESPN over the last couple of years. But um, I think for myself and for Dino and, and Mike and, and I'm sure Coach Mack as well, although I don't want to speak for him, it's been more about trying to get a sense for who these guys are off the court and spend some time with them around the dorm or here in the Yum Center and, and really just kind of strengthen those bonds as best we can, although it's been, you know, only a week or two. Did you feel like you needed to I'm sorry? Did you feel like you needed to recruit them to, to stay? Recruit them to stay? Um, no, I mean, I think for the most part, these guys are really excited about um, what lies ahead, you know, and, and being coached by Chris Mack, I think, is something that was very appealing to those guys. Uh, we started to get that sense right around the time of the press conference that, that the kids were excited about uh, what the future holds. And uh, yeah, I know there were one or two guys that were maybe somewhat unsure, but um, I think they were pretty quick to come on board. Came to some games, uh -huh. uh, assuming you talked to him about Louisville. What was his reaction about you know when you got the Louisville job and, and expecting him to show up if you get here? Or well, that's an unfair assumption. I have not talked to him yet about it. Yeah, he um, he's he's traveling uh, quite a bit in the last couple of weeks. He's working on a tour, a music tour, and so. Uh, it's been a little hectic, you know, with me coming down here from Cincinnati and him being on the road. So we really have not had a chance to talk about it very much. Um, but I'm sure he'll be supportive and excited about uh, the opportunity.